Watch your tone, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so I currently am uh, fighting off a bit of a cold, so I can't do it. I've lost it again now. I was able to do it again when we went back to Primordic, but now I've lost it again, hey. and it sucks. But Sore throats are the worst, man. Well, yeah, but... They'll fuck with you. <laughs> indeed. I don't think they're the worst. Like, I'd rather have a sore throat than have a stomach bug any day. Mm, yeah. Fair enough. Well, for somebody who does impressions, sore throats, yeah. sore throats suck. Yeah, fair enough. But, all right, enough of that about all that. Uh, Man at Arms Reforged, a series that I have loved a lot in my yep. in my life of watching YouTube videos. We've actually done several reactions in the past to uh, Man at Arms and Man at Arms Reforged. Um, and um, the reason why we're doing this now is because there has been an issue that's happened. It's a good. Uh, it's a good issue. Yeah. Well, n- well, it's, uh, it's an well issue that maybe. Needs, well, it's an issue that needs to be brought to yeah. everyone's attention. If people aren't aware of this, uh, the people that ran Man at Arms, uh, Man at, uh, ran at Arms Reforged, mm-hmm. uh, have effectively shut everything down and are holding everyone's like holding everyone uh, who is under like who's under uh, their crux. He's pretty much holding all their finances hostage and everything. Oh, and I, taking, now that part I didn't know. I was and his, and, his ta- and well it. There's companies that have been freed from underneath all of this, um, but still, there are ones that are just there because this one right here because it's a, a show about literally forging stuff. Yeah, is awesome, it, which is awesome. I love yeah. seeing stuff oh, like yeah. this come you know come into fruition. Basically, I've been subscribed to the channel made. that this is on for a very long time for specifically this series. Yeah, so. ah, ah, me. Uh, I've watched a couple of their AMI videos, but this is the one that I'm like, new video, click, 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 you know. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Uh, uh... Oh, no. I'm also, there like, several times I've had the thought, I was like, I wonder if I could move to Baltimore and get them to let me come work under them <laughs> and learn stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Defy Media, that's the company we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Went under... And uh, it's because of mismanagement and also terrible, terrible, terrible business practices. I mean, yeah. Um, this whole thing has caused Baltimore Knife and Sword to have to strike out on their own. Mm-hmm. Now, the number one thing that has happened is that Matt and Ilya have actually started up a new channel. Uh, the channel is called That Works. If you all want to check that out, actually, the reason why we're doing this is because not only are we big fans of this, but I was I was not aware that uh, Carrie and uh, or that Matt or that Matt and uh, Ilya had moved on and started something else. It was brought to my attention when uh, Matt Stagmer actually contacted me and asked me if I would be willing to check this out. And uh, yeah, we've actually gone back and forth in emails and everything, and we're going to actually see if we can't get him to do a Skype call or. Something like that with us. See, no, I was sitting here and terrifying. Like, Nate's like, look at who sent me a message. And I was like, what? no fucking shit. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I was like, that's badass as hell. I know. And I was I, like, I love I, those dudes. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? Oh my God. This, this, like, dude, yeah. And I responded to them and, uh, you know, Matt was really cool and he just was uh, very, like, you know, he was very responsive and uh, wanted to, I, I told him, hey, if you're ever in the area, man, we have contact with Jason Knight, who is... A great blacksmith uh, who's who has an Instagram account. account. Look him up if you're interested in seeing some awesome stuff. Um, he, like I wanted to do like a roundtable. Like I I know Micah would be up to be oh, it, to be man. on uh, yeah. to be on the roundtable with them and just like pick their brain for knowledge and uh, ask oh, them some of like what got them into forging, what got them into, and, and what's probably their most favorite project they've ever worked mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. If they like, came to the podcast, like I'd just that. be sitting in the sound room the whole time, like. You're just gonna be like, holy crap! It, it's really cool. You'll be like, it's I, really cool. Man. I imagine you kind of being like, uh, be being like uh, Tom Holland when he met Roger. What's Roger gonna do? And yeah. you know, just be like, just be like, holy crap! It's Matt Stagmer. <laughs> <laughs> In your most metal voice you could do. So um, anyway, what we are doing is we're actually going to watch a Man at Arms here that was actually requested of it uh, of us a while back, and also. One that uh, 
is very near and dear to my heart because I loved the hell out of this game. It's actually one of the it's actually one of the only games I platinumed on PlayStation. It's it's a really really fantastic game. A game called God of War. This is Kratos's axe on Men at Arms Reforged. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare, boy. <laughs> Man, the bit at the Game Awards. That was awesome. Yeah. That was really, really good. Yeah. I always love all of the animated videos, too. Like, these vi not only do they make kick-ass shit, but, like, their videos ooze all kinds of style as well. That's... Well, yeah, mm -hmm. it... it... <laughs> I'm Matt. I'm Carrie. We are the Stagmer Brothers of Baltimore Knight and Sword. Sword. We're going to be building some of your favorite the music weapons. music is badass, too. <laughs> some weapons you've never seen before. This, this is, is Man at Arms. Reforged. Reforged. Yeah. Recently at E3, they released some new game footage of the new God of War game where we see the return of Kratos. This time, he's no longer wielding his Chaos Blades. He's got one big, badass axe, and we knew we were going to have to make it here on Man at Arms. Mm -hmm. We're going to yep. start with some wrought iron. We're going to make that the body of the axe because it looks really crunchy in the gameplay footage. And then for the yep. edge, we're going to use a Damascus billet, 15 and 20 and 1095. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot Damascus. of intricate detail work at the end. So we're yep. going to get right to it. I'm going to prep those pieces for the Damascus and then hand them off to Ilya, and he'll begin the forging. <laughs> I love this, man. Just watching them work, it's like, it's After prepping it's, all it's of our beautiful. Pieces, John can now carefully uh, take weld them all together so that we can begin the forge welding. Nice. Man, I... <laughs> I've always wanted to, to have something made out of Damascus because I love the look of Damascus. Oh yeah. The, yeah. the look of Damascus is just it's it's beautiful. It's it's a work of art. It looks like something a wizard would have would have forged like back in the D and D like if oh, yeah. D and D yeah. was like a thing, you know? Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Use that slug power there, Ilya. As the Knock uh, it out the park, as they say in America. As somebody who's played a uh, a D and D character built around building things. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Rock on, my friend. <laughs> ah, that power hammer. Yeah. I remember when oh, Micah told me he got yeah. one, I was just like, really? Yeah. Awesome. I haven't seen it yet. I think he's still trying to get it, like, properly After running. Billet, uh, maybe? Draw it out a bit. Uh, like, like leather. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I love that. I love that, dude. I just love seeing this shit. Now we're ready to do a little house construction. This is the floor. That's wrought iron. This is the wall, and this is a wall. Those are high carbon. They're going to be our front edge and mm -hmm. back edge. Yep. Yep. And here's the roof, wrought iron again. Those pieces are going to be cleaned up and tack welded, and a handle yep. is going to be welded so we can manage it. And then we're going to forge weld it gently in the press so that our little compartment right here is not distorted too much. That's going to become the socket for the handle. Huh. After that, the walls are going to be pinched out and become the front edge and the back edge. Yep. There it goes. Getting it to go he pro the, the, to the proper tad, form, he's gonna insert I've always just been like, wow. into the eye of the axe, just so seeing how they do all this. The shape a bit as well. It's an art. There it is. It is, Can it is an art. Up, uh, oxidizing. Yeah, add your flux. Yep. Can you imagine what uh, Brock and Sindri would have done with this tech? They'd have probably just been like, sweet Nana's nethers. Look at all this. <laughs> so the roof on Ilya's little house you mean we can yep. use all came tumbling in a little bit last night. We had some tears in the wrought iron here. Uh-huh. Here, 
We could still go back and make this work, but because of our time limit, it's actually going to save us a bunch of time to go ahead back a few steps. We're still going to use wrought iron, we're still going to use Damascus, but Ilya has a much better construction idea how to make this axe happen. All right. I flattened out and assembled some wrought iron strips. When this is welded up and assembled into a plate, it's time to proceed with the combining of Damascus and the wrought iron and make the axe. Ah, holding. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll never forget like how detailed Ilya got with now doing the, the uh, Hattori Hanzo sword. Really? Oh, that yeah. That was the wicked. Billet. Like seeing him, like seeing Ilya how detailed he got and how entrenched he got into doing it this in a traditional the manner. Getting to the surface of that metal, oh making it scale up and inhibiting as well. He now lays yep. the wrought iron on top of the Damascus paddle goes to the hammer and very gently forge welds it. Uh, you can see that you don't need proof strength for this process. It just has to be the perfect strike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like how in-depth they go on explaining like the reasons they do different things and stuff, too. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's like the videos will be cool enough to just see the whole process, you know, but like learning oh, about it's real fun a, as well. Got a forming die. Yeah. Very nice. I see now what he's doing. He's doing a wrap. He's doing a wrap around instead of a instead of a. Instead of a you can see yes. That he uses the dies on the power hammer to clamp down. As I hold from behind, he strikes and starts spinning his U shape. Uh huh. There it is. All right. Got to get it lined up right. Just so. Mm -hmm. There it is. Aha. Nice and easy now. Beautiful. Yeah, once you get the metal at hot, it's, it's, yeah, there you go. Yeah, speedy shot. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with, you may notice that we have a little extra material yes. on the edge Propane? of our axe now. Ilya basically did what would be Stop. called a Bounce reverse that ball. method. We took a bill of Damascus that he layered with some more wrought iron and folded over the edge to give us some more mass. Ah. Ilya's now doing something that's not exactly safe. <laughs> use a hand hammer underneath the power hammer dies very carefully to spread very specific areas of the axe. Yeah, that's not safe. No, it's not. Hey, but are you gonna tell him not to do it? He'll just be like, I'm Slough King, I do what I wish. <laughs> that's nice. So the edge of the axe is now grown too large to fit in our welding forge. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping the charcoal forge hot. Billy has modified our heat treating forge so we can get the axe in there a little bit and gain some temperature. But we really want to achieve our forge welding temperatures here. Ah, so we're going to yes. be going back and forth between this forge, that forge, the power oh, hammer, and some hand dream. forging just to spread that edge out to get it right where we want it <laughs> to be. He was having a bad dream. Was oh, look at his face. Oh, poor buddy. <laughs> Man. Yeah, look at that. Buddy. Thing of beauty. Was there a noise on the TV that bothered you? I think so. He's just and like he's like, oh, he's like, he's like this world is too. This world is too. It's now time to forge go down. in a Damascus bit. Ilya already prepped what will become that back edge. We now have to force that bit in so that it fits just right. Take it out, bring everything up to temperature, and then do our forge weld. After it's forge weld, we can then draw it out a bit, and it'll be ready for grinding. Power. There you go. Speed and, and power. Man, I've been watching some Top Gear clips recently. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the Reliant Robin thing. Yeah. 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 I've seen that clip about a thousand times. It still just... gets me laughing. Man. Because all of a sudden it's just like peaceful day, and all of a sudden here comes Jerry. Really oh! Just on his side, it's fantastic. Guys who forge these axes on the regular have a ton, maybe several dozen different very specific tools to use during forging that we just don't have because we don't do it very often. And I'm pretty sure if the Vikings had themselves in Ilya, we'd probably all be speaking Old Norse right now, if you know what I mean. But my next oh, yeah. step is to get this thing profiled, and then we'll move right on to edging. Oh, yes. Yes, the grinder. Ah, like, yes. We don't really have the tools to do this, but we're going to fucking make it work anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
hey, look, sometimes you just got to do crazy repair work. It's just part yeah. of being a badass, man. Yeah. Yep. Got to make shit work. You can do a lot of crazy stuff if you, uh... Quenching the blade. Yep. Always meant to look into who does their music, because their music's epic. Yeah. Now the main body of our axe is now defined and ready to go. It's time to start on those land jets. Ilya's gonna forge those out of wrought iron. He's gonna move to the power hammer to get his basic shape. So pretty. Then he's gonna punch those oh, yeah, three central the holes that you see, and then oh, we'll be able man. to attach them. So I did a lot of perimeter grinding last night on this axe. Got it to the right shape we're going for. it. Really oh. forged these land jets out of wrought iron, and then he punched three holes on either side. Next step for me is to edge it. You know it goes in there. I already some on the back blade here, but I have the Mr. Grins. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up, and then I'll hand it off to Ilya, and he'll get those giant dorks and inlay. Hey, you expect anything different? Man? I mean, no, on. no, not a bit. We're such big. I mean, look, let's be fair. I knew what I was coming back to when I came down here. This axe allows it to transform into an ice axe later on. So right now I'm using my simple W2 cutter. Ah, yeah, etching. Cutting in the design. So later on yep. it will be inlaid with nickel. Ooh. Because the outside of this axe is all wrought iron, it cuts fairly easy. But once in a while I hit a hard spot of steel, so I have to be very careful. Yeah, you don't want to go too hard, and then Billy's once you get past that piece of steel, and just like, just destroy rod iron, iron destroy trenches. the iron. Yeah. Some of those trenches or stab are later filled with pure nickel, <laughs> leaving a nice bright line. Others uh, will leave plain, that will give a nice dark line. Nice. Yep. He's been carving on the face of the axe now for about an hour. Most of the runes are set in place. He's now going to start doing some of the inlay. Ah, yes. Oh, man. And then punch it in there. That's how you do it, my friend. That's yep. beautiful. Yeah. So this is the kind of music that plays in my head when I'm, like, After putting together a Gundam kit and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gameplay footage, I noticed that it's a modern shape. This isn't really an historical axe. This handle is basically yeah, a fireman's axe handle. Yeah, it's a reaper. Gonna go ahead and lay that shape in. Yep. I mean, you know, it's a mystical axe. It, it's, it's forged by, by, by like, by dwarves and uh, here, the greatest dwarf the smiths of all time. Not right. to mention, I mean, they've so got go some it, some interesting go tech right going on. Yeah, they do. Looks pretty I mean, good. The Bifrost. The the, uh, well, uh, there's some, like, the right uh, moving stuff that they, they show. Yeah. And it's like, huh, that's Matt some interesting has tech. gotten us the hickory handle for the battle axe for God of War. He's done some light shaping around here. We've started to do some profile cuts, as you can see. I've done mm -hmm. a light sketch on the top. I'm not going to sketch the profile on the front. I have a mental picture in my head of what this looks like dimensionally. I'm going to work off of that. There's not a whole lot of reference for what this really looks like. It's a brand new game. Uh, things are not out yet. So we're going yeah, to according to this, they're doing it this. It's a primitive Viking style dragon. before the game before is even the game out. Released, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this was a year ago Yeah. this was released, so this was way before because got so to work in to in lay eight. out the artwork and the carving we've started to carve in our lines starting to get our pierce throughs like underneath of the tongue we've actually everybody just saw the trailer and immediately went to their comments and was like make that axe please yep <laughs> of course <laughs> i would too i mean the leviathan axe is like now. it's he's going to go ahead and finish it's the gonna be on video game handle, top 10 list now we're gonna get her done for hell and ever because it's such an epic weapon Ooh. I don't know if you guys saw. Did you see where they made a saw cleaver in the now series? Yeah, I did. That was oh. awesome. Yeah, they yeah, did. It's I, and kick oh, fucking and ass. It folded it too. It folded up and ass. went out. Yeah. Okay, it I'm. Up in the forge and quenches just the edge of the shit, oil. Dude. Not only does this harden the edge, but also. Yeah, you'll have to watch that later if you haven't seen that. Oh yeah. We sanded on them before. Ah yeah, quench it. Quench that steel, baby. Yeah. Fuego. That's one of the coolest looking parts. It's real good. Especially where they slow mo it. Yeah. 
You know, Jacob's uh, Jacob Sony can actually do that. Can actually do slow mo like that. It can't do like slow mo guys, but yeah. it can do decent, you know, decent slow mo. Wow. Don't you kind of just want to like take God a sword, or like Gods of the Forge? We brought Kratos dip it into life. dip it into oil and just like start doing the flaming thing sword thing. Yeah. Man, gorgeous. That's pretty beautiful. I'll say one thing about the production. I could definitely tell that some of the production depended way too much on uh <laughs> nice. That's a big buff dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But make no mistake, your blade will kill. Shut up, Medusa. Fuck You're off. not even in this game. You're not even in this game. What are you doing? I don't like orange. So I don't like red soda. <laughs> it's grape or nothing, bitch. <laughs> What's that smell? It's milk. Wait, shit. Good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah! Metal as as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got the crazy eyes. <laughs> oh yeah! Subscribe or click here to watch. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, right, they made the blades of chaos. Yeah, they well. did that. That was actually really cool too. But yeah, that was uh, that was Man at Arms reforged and. It's sad to know that that show may not be coming back again. Yeah. Uh, because I do like I do like seeing like the stuff in video games come to life. Oh yeah. I love seeing that. I think I might go back and rewatch the whole series as like a an honorable like tribute. To yeah, <laughs> like a, a send off. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, for for the first season where they had Tony, and then after after Tony, uh, pretty much abdicated the the production of everything over to. Uh, Baltimore knife and you know Baltimore knife and sword with Matt and Carrie and uh, Ilya and Sam and and from everything that they did on Man at Arms Reforged, I mean they they continued it and it was and it was awesome. Mm. They continued it and did really good like did really good work. But um, after doing that for so long, you know, with the exact same production, the exact same editing and all that. You know, not really trying to reinvent and do different things. I could see, I could see how that could get a little grating on people. And from what, and uh, from, I'm not gonna say that you know Matt, Carey, Ilya, and all of them at Baltimore Knife and Sword were like tired of doing Men at Arms Reforge, but maybe they wanted to like forge out and do other things. <laughs> do forge out. <laughs> well, forge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wanted to go out and do different things yeah. and try to do and, other uh, stuff. Fo forge ahead, if yes, you will. Yes. Yeah, um, so... Need to hammer out some new work, you know? <laughs> mm. Some new ideas. You know, really test their metal. Yeah. Okay, I get <laughs> it you're trying to hammer those points home, but... Didn't you already do a hammer pun? Yeah, he stole my pun. Hey, <laughs> all great jokes are stolen. <laughs> Think about that. I mean... Nothing's our, original anymore. Our, yeah, as long as you don't fire <laughs> me and take all my jokes and Dude, not no. give me credit or anything. No, I, I mean, okay, let's be fair. The, like, I think the big ones that I've gotten from you are uh, okay into That's not even blank. mine. I know. <laughs> I know. And also, holy shit! This thing's loaded! You're basically just stealing all my Sunny references. <laughs> yeah, I could have just watched Always Sunny. Why did we hire you? I'm kidding. I shan't mince words with you for long, good sir. I challenge you to a duel. All right, I accept. Wait, Wait what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, you know, it, b because of the implication. Yeah. The implication. Yeah, it's... The implication, yes. No, so the whole idea is that they're talking about how women are more likely to sleep with you while, while you're on a boat. Because the implication... Oh, that, yeah, yeah, the implication. Because of the implication. Because of the implication. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That was actually, like, some of the first sign that he's actually a little bit of a... 
crazy person or a little bit of a <laughs> sociopath. Right? Not really the first, honestly. There's well, it's it's one of certainly wasn't the last. It's one of the ones where it, it it actually started to reveal that he was actually like Dennis was not a very even. Person. Have you guys seen the episode where he goes to the uh, sensory deprivation chamber and then he like has some realization that he is God? <laughs> Wait, what? And, I cannot say I have. And his that. his <laughs> his god self is talking to himself in a perfect like Australian accent for some Get reason. I, Mike. Oh, yeah. And then he comes in and he tries to talk to everyone else and he's like, hey, oh, 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 and he's like, uh, like it's like uh, sounded better in my head. Like, <laughs> but it's like I realized that I am God. <laughs> like, yeah, I am like God. That. It's like that one crazy guy in Biodome. Like he was sitting there like working on these coconut bombs and he's like, I am God. I am God. And then all of a sudden, his parakeet behind him was just like, I am God. I am God. And he's like, no, I am God. <laughs> and then later on, uh, the uh, he hears the parrot go, I am God. I am God. And then about a few minutes later, it cuts back to, you know, Stephen Baldwin and Pauly Shore doing their stupid stuff. And then it cuts back to him again, uh, eating... <laughs> Eating the last bit of meat off of the bones of the parakeet uh. with the parakeets with uh, like a parakeet feather headdress on, and he's like, "No, I am God." Wow! <laughs> Just throws it. I'm like, wow! I was like, "Damn!" That escalated quickly. <laughs> that was off topic as fuck. Uh, boy, yeah. howdy, wasn't it? But um, uh, I think they've sort of come to figure out that's what happens around here. Yeah. So yeah. Damn you, Achievement Hunter, for stealing an, the off-topic podcast name from us. I mean, so I'm guessing we're going to go look, do a I, reaction to their new channel. It's like, yes. Nate, I gave you the perfect gift of Renegade's Ramble. And I gave you this. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you off-topic podcast. I think they'd already had it by the time we... Had not, re not really, no. Hmm. We start because... You came on. When was, when was our first episode of Renegades Ramble? Like, no, the, no, no. Well, Renegades Ramble that was the very first. I don't episode. know. I don't know. Cause that that we did an episode way way back when. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, so for those of you out there wondering why we did this, given that Man Arms Reforged is no longer happening, uh, we wanted to spread awareness of that works. The, uh, that works is the channel that has uh, been opened by Baltimore Knife and Sword. On the channel, it shows Matt and Ilya doing uh, projects, and they approach it in a more different style. They approach it in a more vlog style than they do with like all the fancy editing stuff and all that. Instead, it's just them doing it on their own. They've effectively gone solo. I've been super tempted since you showed me that message to go look at that channel. Yeah, but, like I've been. Stopping myself. Yeah, so you I, stop I, I'm, yourself from doing that. I'm going in blind. I want to see what what Good. it's all about myself okay. too. So, so for me, I I see that I see that you know they're they're trying this, and currently they have thirteen thousand subs. I want to see them hit at least a hundred thousand by the end of winter. I I'm hoping that they they're able to yeah. reach that. That'd yeah, I think awesome. they can do it. But for me, I keep uh, you know they're going to do what they want to do and. I hope that they're happy with everything. I hope great for. I hope you know because they're very talented. Oh yeah. And yeah. I want to see them succeed, and I really hope that they they're successful in this endeavor. And if we can help them in any way, guys, I and mean, if you want to check them out, I mean, I I cannot stress enough. Check out that works. Uh, there is actually going to be a link to it right down below in the description. And it, I, actually, no, I don't think tags are on any, or not tags, but I don't think uh, the, uh, the annotations annotations are on anymore. Yeah, so, I don't think those are. Yeah, they got rid of those for yeah. some reason. That sucks. But I tell you what, in the end credits, we will have it linked. Uh, we will have it linked in there, so you can uh, you can go to it there. There you go. So, But if you can't find it in the description, it should be right in the description. It should be the first thing you see in this video. On this one and on... Uh, hit the, the arrow to drop the box down if you don't yeah, see anything. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's all you got to do. Check them out. And, uh, you know, of course, show them all the love. And hopefully, here's to the future. And Matt, Ilya, and everyone at Baltimore Knife and Sword, um, we wish you luck. And uh, until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Nick. And Peanut is... Peanut? Yep. He's like, he's like, why are he's you like, disturbing? He's like, why are you waking me up? I yeah, don't like it. Yo. All right, we'll see you later, everybody. Peace out.
Thank you.